My name is Duncan Sutherland. I'm Deputy Research Director of the Phillip Island Nature Park. We're working with the Eastern Barred Bandicoot and it's a critically endangered mammal, a little marsupial, 600-800 grams in weight and it has really prominent stripes that are very recognisable. We've started a trial to uh, return this species on Churchill Island, a small island where we can see whether a species like the bandicoots can establish. There's great habitat for them, but importantly there are no foxes, there are no cats even. What we've been able to see is that they've done really well, they've got minimal impact on um, the native uh, ecosystem, other than some really positive influence on the soil conditions and health. What that has enabled us to do is bring eastern barred bandicoots and release them onto Phillip Island. This is a large fox-free island which presents amazing opportunities to not only recover this species from the brink of extinction, but also to bring back its ecological function. The digging that it does to search for grubs and worms, that actually turns over the soil and improves the condition of the soil and that is uh, fantastic for not only the bushland but also farmland and other areas too. So to look after this species we're monitoring it pretty closely. So we do some live trapping and mark individuals with little microchips, the same as you have in a pet dog or a cat. And we can see how frequently we, we catch those individuals and can estimate how many others there are in the, in the population. And just imagine what it would be like to have them in your backyard or somewhere nearby you in the absence of foxes, in the absence of feral cats, where they are protected and we can live in harmony with those species again. And one of the things that you can do is keep your pets indoors, away from these native mammals, these native birds, these reptiles that are living in and around your garden, in the parklands around you, in the bushland where you might go and visit too. These are special animals, they're our own animals, they're the ones that we have responsibility for protecting and doing your part to keep them for the future.